Measures of dispersion can actually be similar to measures of central tendency. They're both used as ways to sort of analyze data and see how different numbers compare to the overall average or most common number that's going to come up in a specific series. So what we have here is just a list of numbers. And we're asked to find the range and the median of these numbers. Now the range is pretty easy because the range is just how what the numbers could be, like what the what the lowest number is and what the highest number is and how many numbers are in between them. So in this set of data, um, since we need to find the range and the median, I'm going to go ahead and order them all because we need to order them to find the median anyway. Um, if we didn't need to find the median, we would just look through it and see what the smallest and largest numbers were. Um, in this case, it looks like the smallest one is uh, 121 and the largest one is um, uh, 433. Yep, 433. So our range is going to be the difference between 121 and 433. But let's go ahead and order these, and then it will be easy to see that as well. So if we start putting these into order, and we need to make sure that we get them all and only use them once. So I'm going to cross them out as I, as I reorder them here. So we have 121, and we have 122, and we have, looks like 193. 193, 197. Uh, 366, 397, and 401. Okay, now we have them all in order, smallest to largest. And like I said, um, that is important because we want to make sure, A, we need them in order to find the median, and B, we want to make sure that we have all the numbers accounted for. Ooh, looks like I missed one. Good thing I checked them off. See, 433. That's why I do that, 433. So now to find the range, we just take 433, minus 121, so the range, change colors, make things a little easier to keep track of, the range is 433 minus 121, so that's going to be 311, so our range is 311, and now we have to figure out how many numbers there are, first of all, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So since there's 15 numbers, 15 values, the middle one, so for the median, the median will be the eighth value from either direction. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, that eighth value is 227. So the median is 227, and the range is 311.